November the 2nd, 2020. The Norkin Mullet out at the site again today. Uh, the day started off a little windy. Uh, it was pretty breezy, a little cool, uh, but it turned into a pretty, really nice afternoon once we got out on the water. And we stopped, we kind of took a look around the, the sound area, uh, back into the estuaries, just taking it all in and, and looking at how the waterways kind of weave through the marsh area and going into the Port of Brunswick and St. Simons. And we really see how vast and expansive this area is um, with the Golden Ray sitting right out in the entrance to the sound. Could be some concerns with possible environmental damage. When we were out today, we started to see that the crews were working on the, the end of the net, re, re, reinforcing the oil booms. And we were, began to think about the, the way that the catch area, the pounds and all were designed and, and put in. And when you, when you look at the area from above, you kind of understand why it's shaped the way it is with the potential for something to happen. This area is critical. As you see on an incoming tide, everything is gonna be funneled into that corner of the catch fence. And of course, with the old booms in place, it'll hold any contaminants that get to the top. And if they get into that corner, they can be retrieved either with, uh, with a suction tank, uh, something along that lines. And again, we see the offshore side the same way. It's shaped to catch it into the corner where they can deal with it. Today, um, all cranes were down, not a lot going on. Every, all the cranes were in the cradle. Um, not a whole lot of activity on the water. Just kind of a, a quiet day. We're waiting for notification from Unified Command that cutting will commence. We're supposed to get a 48 hour notice before that starts. And I think everything is, is looking pretty good. Everybody is eagerly anticipating the start of the salvage of the Golden Ray.